stand up for yourself and I'll back you up because problems don't solve themselves <coughs> I'll tell you what instead of would or could I think you should draw a line in the sand and stand your ground it's for your own good Hello. I want to thank you for joining us for another episode of The Voice of Families and Addiction. What we're going to review with you today is the third of the three coping skills, determine a solution, develop a decision, and this one is design a plan of action. Yeah, the, the thought that you might need to write out a plan uh, based around what you're doing in order to respond might seem laborious, um, but we do give you a place in the book, The Family Solution Finder, 3D Coping Skills, Learning Module Number 3. This is available for you on Amazon.com, but it's also a download for you uh, on our website. So we would ask that you take a moment and, and kind of go through what this offers you in terms of understanding more you know, about making decisions and, and, making, and determining solutions and, and creating plans of action. Um, I have to tell you that action planning is used in all parts of our life. And, and the value is you, you are then able to include others into what it is that you're trying to achieve. You're not gonna do this on your own. So getting into like the, the realm of, we automatically understand that when we determine a solution and develop a decision, it's for the purpose of including professionals to come in and help us. Now, that may mean that our solution and our decision change, but we've taken the time as a family to you know, go through these three coping skills and then take it to professionals and say, listen, here's what we've determined as our solution, and here's what we've decided to do about it, and our plan is to use your services. Are we in the right place? Doesn't that make sense? I mean, they're busy. For you to come in and say that you've got an idea as to what it is that you're doing, and you're asking good questions, and you've prepared yourself, I can assure you, you're going to get a much higher caliber of response from this person because they see that you care. And the fact of the matter is, you don't do this unless you care. All right? Now, the other fact of the matter is, if you've taken the time to learn from our 32 issues and you've that means that you've gone through module number two and you've determined how the solution, how, how the issue is impacting your family. And now you're learning module three and you've determined a solution, develop a decision, design a plan of action. Then, wow, you are really a family that is like a shooting star. You really must care about this person. I'll say the opposite and I'll try not to sound derogatory. If you're a family that's choosing not to do any of this stuff in terms of getting ready, getting educated, you know, and preparing yourself to include others so that you can do the best job possible, if, if, if you're not that type of family and you just say no to all of this, then would you please turn off the station and don't come back until you're ready? Because I'll be honest with you, we don't have time. There's too many families out there for us to spend time on a family that doesn't care enough to do for themselves first. So I don't mean to scold you. I don't mean to say things that are you know, reprimanding. I'm saying that to myself also. I have lived experience here too. And we didn't do that. And we should have done it. But to be honest with you, it was at a time that this information was not a vision, was not available, which is why we wrote it available to you. So we do want you to write a plan based on the decision you made, based on the solution you determined, the, three, the other two Ds and the three Ds. So let's get down to the plan of action. Well, you already know a lot about, from your decision, what you're going to do. So we want you to think in terms of tasks. So you have a priority. We're, the first thing we're going to do, Roy, is we're going to talk as a family, okay? What, what tasks are you going to do in order to use that? Well, I'm going to assign the, you're going to assign it to people in terms of, you know, spread it out. Don't 
have one person do everything. I mean, you've got a family after all. So one person is responsible for making sure that everybody in the family gets there. They pick a time, a date, and a location. And then another family member might make sure that, you know, there's beverages or food or whatever. If you're going to have it around the dinner hour, that, you know, somebody brings a potluck um, so that you can all gather around the table. That's just an example. But in other words, you're going to priority one, and then you've got several tasks in order to achieve that priority. Then you have priority two, you have several tasks, and it's going to be those tasks build up so that you achieve priority number two. And then you have several tasks, and then you have those tasks build up to, to allow you to achieve that particular priority. So then what do we do, Roy? Well, in module, learning module number four, which is connecting yourself to local resources, you'll then take this plan, which has your developed decision and your determined solution, and now your design plan of action, and you're going to go out in learning module number four and find a professional. Don't act. Our recommendation is do not act on any of this from what you've just accomplished with our materials. That's not what they're designed for. These materials are designed to prepare you so that you can maximize extracting the best of your local and national community so that you understand what it is you can do and how to do it better, stronger, and empowerment. Now you have empowerment. Well, I thought we had empowerment before when we learned this. No, you were empowered. You were empowered with knowledge. But you did not have the ability to act on your knowledge until you used your coping skills, which is why we took you through that learning module number three. First, in learning module number one, we showed you the issue. Second, in module number two, you showed us how this issue is impacting you. Then third, in learning module number three, you determine a solution, develop a decision, and design a plan of action. In learning module four, now you're finding a professional for which you will then describe all these other learning modules that you've completed and then actually acted on what it is that you need to do in order to create a response. Well, I think it would be very easy for a family to say, nope, not going to do it. Too much work requires too much communication between family members. We don't like each other anyhow. Well, guess what? One of the things that's happening to your family that you may not be aware of is because this is such a egregious situation that you're all in, it actually creates an environment for you all to practice the fine art of kindness, of sharing, of love, of communio. And you actually will humble yourself, if done correctly, in a way that allows you to be vulnerable and in some cases, compassionate and empathetic, all of these things can happen. And they're really good quality things to happen to a family. This is what makes your family stronger. Or you cannot do anything. And you can just let these issues hit you like a ton of bricks and complain and, 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 and fall apart as a family. Which, by the way, because this information hasn't been around before, I mean, it was out there, but it was out there in pieces all across the internet. Now it's now it's combined, okay? So yeah, kind of, kind of like well, now your excuse to not do it is kind of thwarted. Uh, if that was your if that was your initial thought, a lot of people don't want to do something because they just don't know how to do it. And so what we're asking you to do is the very uncomfortable thing. We want you to be yeah vulnerable in terms of going out and trying something that you haven't done before. You, you might be embarrassing yourself because you're not perfect at it. Well, let go of all that. The, the substance use disorder, brain disease, and the way it hits the family, that's not the time to talk about being perfect. If you're a perfect family, like Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way, don't, don't make that your objective and goal. If you are that way, let go of it for a time being because it's going to delay you and, and in some cases cause you not to get to where you need to go. All right, so just be more accepting of the situation and go through the three Ds. Take the information you know from the first two modules and find a professional. 
and start to create responses that are really going to make a difference. And really making a difference as a family is actually really cool. If you ever wanted to be in a cool family, then be in the one that's faced with strife and trouble and manages to stay focused on being committed towards doing the right things, even though you don't have the time, you don't have the money, you don't have the resources, but you did it just the same. You're going to turn back onto yourself and say, that was really cool. I want to thank you very much for listening to this episode on plan, a plan of action, Coping skill number three, design a plan of action. And feel free to give us a call and call us with your plan. And we'll go through it with you. It should only take like 30 minutes. 440-385-7605. Once again, Roy Poyan, I pick up the phone every time. And when I don't, I call you right back. So I look forward to talking with you if you need me. And for all those who are not willing to do this right now, say a prayer for them. That they may come to understand that they too can do what it is that you're doing here today. Thank you very much and God bless you. Stand up for yourself and I'll back you up because problems don't solve themselves. I'll tell you what, instead of would or could, I think you should draw a line in the sand and stand your ground. It's for your own good.